Good day, Brad from CCPR here, and we have a HP Office Jet Pro 7740 with the following problem. Non-chip, non-HP chip detected, so this is the firmware on the printer itself blocking the cartridges that this customer has. Recently, HP has put out another update that has been stopping the more up-to-date chips that non HP or third-party cartridges are carrying so in this case this customer uses some third-party cartridges that have a chip that is not being detected and I realize that some of my cartridges themselves are, are being blocked so what I'm going to show you here is how to downgrade using um, a FUL file which is a firmware file from a HP firmware f that is more or less was created in 2020 or 2018 so it will be behind the current firmware in this system and we will downgrade it so that it hopefully will be able to detect cartridges these cartridges again so what we need to do first I'm going to pause it and then do the process of showing you how to get the file and then we'll try to do the downgrade on it and then hopefully it works so we're gonna pause here and then we'll get back to it right so you're on my system here and this is the folder that you'll be getting from the video link in the description so you'll have all the FUL files here the one that we're looking for in this case is the 7740 right so we'll right click and choose download and then it will choose ask you to where you want to download it I think it must be downloading already. It will more likely ask you where to download it and it'll go to a download file. So in the corner here, right? So it asks me to where to download and I choose the music folder and I click OK. So it will start to download and then we will go to the folder. So when it's done. Right, so you can open here and it'll send it to the folder. It'll be a zip file, so have WinRAR or some file unzipping program available. You unzip it, you open the folder here, you drag this here, put it on the desk, put it back somewhere on your desktop or back in the folder, I put it back in my folder. Then you have to get a flash drive, right? Format it. I'll show you how to do that and then you'll send it to that flash drive right so we're gonna pause and just get the format the flash drive in and format it and show you that process and then we'll continue all right so here's my flash drive here we're going to format right click on it and choose format and then choose fat 32 right and then you'll do a quick format and click start it will ask if you're sure you say OK. So it will format and you're ready. So you open your flash drive, make sure that it open like that. You can either right click on the FUL file, send to, choose the flash drive, and it will transfer it. So when it's finished transfer, you just make sure that it's on there Wait. all right so it's on there and then we'll go back to the computer so I mean to the printer so I'm gonna pause again all right so now that you have the flash drive in you choose update printer upgrade now download and it will restart and download what's on the flash drive to the the printer and take that firmware version and update that version onto your printer so I'll pause or maybe I'll just let it run a little bit so you can see at least the process going through All right so it downloading so it updated now That'll take a little while, so let's pause and come back. 
Right, so it reached zero and it restarting. Right, so it shows that the most current printer update has been installed, it proves OK. And now, if you scroll down, it's still it going to the maintenance. So it now detects any cartridges that have been installed that was there before. It will do the prepping for it, it's going to prime the cartridges and then it should be in a ready state. If the cartridges have sufficient ink and everything, because the customer told me that they just put in the cartridges. Right, so after the prep, it's telling you non HP cartridges, HP cannot guarantee quality. And you just OK it. And it will well, I open and close the drawer, so that's why it's saying that. And now you should check the levels to see how it is. All the cartridges are reading now. Um, we could just do a quick test. I'll show you one quick thing first. We go in maintenance, you go into update printer, and you turn off the updates one time. Do not check. And you see no. See, do not check. Make sure that says that, and you should be good to go. You should be able to use any cartridge you want. So, reports. And we're going to do a quality report just to see the quality of print because I don't know what is the status of this printer. All I know is that they couldn't recognize the cartridges. Right, so it's pulling through the cartridge. Right, so the print head is in good condition. It's printing near perfect. Well, the black has a little bit of thing, but all the other colors are great. So more or less, this is finished. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.